Hey everyone and welcome to the clipping mask tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to mask multiple shapes into one larger shape to create a cool clipped effect. You can see that I've already taken the liberty of tracing out some shapes. I've traced out the profile of Darth Vader and I've also traced out some buildings in this minimalist style based on um, the village of Mos Espa on Tatooine from Star Wars, which is where Anakin is originally from. You can see that I've also included the two moons that you can see from Tatooine to really drive home the idea that this is in fact Tatooine. So you can see that I have all of these different shapes that consist of rounded rectangles and circles. I just kind of stack them near each other and change the color around. I do want to point out really briefly because I didn't show you guys how to do this in any other videos, but after you make a rectangle with the rectangle tool, you can double click on it like this, and you can click and drag these red dots that appear to change the radius of these corners and make them more rounded. So now that I have all of the shapes here to make my clipping mask, there are a few things I wanna do first. I wanna make sure that the shape that all of my other shapes will go into is at the very, very top of my layers panel. There are two images above it right now, Vader and Maz Espa, but those don't really matter too much. If I do wanna put it on top of those as well, that's fine, I can do that, but I'm not worried about it. This means that all the other shapes underneath it are part of this Maz Espa scenery. So I'm going to click my ellipse, scroll all the way to the bottom, and then hold shift while clicking my last shape to select every single shape underneath it. You just want to make sure that whatever you're clipping, you do the exact same thing. Don't accidentally select a shape that's somewhere else because it is going to disappear or throw everything off. But once I've selected all of the scenery that I want to go inside of the shape, I'm going to group it by clicking these two little rectangles with four circles on top of them. Or you can hit Control G or Command G on a Mac. And that's going to put all of them into this group. I'm going to go ahead and rename this group to Clipping Mask Group, just so I know what it is. And this path on top is the Vader outline, so I'm going to go ahead and call it that too, Vader outline, so I don't get confused. And as long as your outline is on top of your clipping mask group like so, you should be able to execute your clipping mask successfully. What you need to do is click on your outline. Make sure that everything that you want to go inside of it is inside of it. There is no like white space or anything. And then you want to hold shift and click your clipping mask group. Then right click and go to mask with shape. And once you do that, you should see all of your shapes be clipped inside of your one larger shape. Mine still has this black outline to it. So what I want to do is just click on my mask layer and then throw that border away if I want to get rid of it so it'll be a little bit more of a cleaner mask. I do want to note that it is important to group all of your objects before you make a clipping mask. Otherwise, it's going to reverse the order of all of your layers and pretty much make everything into a mess. So that is how you create a clipping mask out of multiple shapes. Good luck on all of your movie poster projects and I'll see you on the next one.